How's it, Sean from Combat Simulations? Welcome to my uh, overview and tutorial of Command Ops 2. All right, so before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. It's free. And also leave comments and suggestions and watch my videos. It helps me a lot, I promise. So Command Ops 2. Uh, what is Command Ops 2? It's, it's a detailed, realistic simulation or operational simulation of World War II combat. If I can put it in a nutshell. One of the best simulated realistic uh operations warfare combat of world war ii you can find on the market today it's developed by panther games it's got a long history they came out with the if i if any of you can remember that was the um uh, highway to the right it was the airborne assault series conquest of the gian that was like command ops one and then in 2015, they brought out Command Ops 2, improving the game in all areas, the, the, how you, the structure of the game, all the bits and pieces, adding more realism to it. Fantastic game. Go buy. You don't even need to buy it. The, the, the game is free. The core game is free. It comes with three scenarios, the tutorial scenario and other two. And then if you want um, the extra scenarios, you, you buy them in volumes. Let me give you an idea. Before I start, let me just show you who is the... These are, this is Panther Games. These are the guys that... It's an Australian company. And they've been around for a while. Um, they made, they've made a couple of games. This is their most... Well, I, I don't know if this is the most famous, but this is one of the games they're known for. Realistic. Realistic uh, simulation of modern combat. If you look here... Um, the, these are... These come with the game. They, they like this is the core game. This is free from Steam. You can get it off Steam for free, and you can play these games to your heart's content free. Then it comes with volumes, like the Bastone scenarios. These are Battle of the Bulge, but just specifically around Bastone. And there's a whole series of 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 uh, scenarios when it comes to this area. Uh, then you got Foothills for the Gods. These are the Greek scenarios, Conquest of the Gian, all the Greek battles in Greece. Uh, highway to the Reich, Operation Market Garden. All the airborne operations around Market Garden. Okay, and all the, the, the scenarios with that. And they they, they they encompass, they're not large scenarios. It's not like a monthly campaign or two months or whatever. They're four days, three days. Detailed simulation of those of those fights. Uh, KOD scenarios, the 40, first, the Wati scenarios. First 48 hours, the Battle of the Bulge. If the Germans had followed specific plans and whatever. These are the largest scenarios in the game. Uh, then you've got some more Battle of the Bulge uh, scenarios from uh, Ride of the Valkyries, uh, Cauldron, Western Desert, uh, Crete, Malta, all of this area down there. Uh, West Wall is some more uh, Battle of the Bulge scenarios, if I'm not mistaken, as well. And then the core scenarios. I've never played this game. Okay, so I know about it because I've read the reports and I've gone through the manual and I've read and I've had a look at it. I've looked at the, this guy here does a, uh, where is it now? This guy here, this Arjun guy, Arjuna, he does a comprehensive, awesome tutorial on, on this game. And um, you can see it there and I've watched videos and whatever, but it's a, from the write-ups and everything that they've spoken about, it's such a fantastic game. And I've played the scenario, the, the tutorial. Okay, I've played this a couple of times. I've been hammered every time. Okay, hammered. Because this game is... The AI in this game is superb, fantastic. You'll see how, how this thing... It's difficult to explain it until I show you. You're going to see it now. And I've played this, this scenario, this tutorial a couple of times, trying to get used to it. Trying to... Because it, it works with orders delay. It's all simulated. So I'm going to load up the tutorial so that we can go through that. All right, cool. Now you can pick the access or the allies. You can pick your orders delay. I put it on realistic. You've also got seasonal weather, better weather, worse weather. I picked the historical weather and reinforcement uh, schedule. You can have it as favor the access, favor the allies, or no reinforcements or standard normal supply. So we'll pick this so we can get an idea of this game. This awesome, awesome game. All right, so this is the opening. Now, let me tell you, it's daunting. Let me just put the sound on. 
yeah, because I had it off. <coughs> it's daunting. Uh, so I'm going to go through as best I can all the bits and pieces of the game. And then I'm going to play out the scenario. Now the game is real time. What that means is here's the, here's the, where you can control it and put the times and all this type of stuff. Now, each part, let me just, let me see, hang on. Uh, oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted. OB, okay. The game is realistic. Eh? So you've got an order of battle, okay? And it's realistic in terms of, of the troops. Like, for example, let's take this tank battalion. Uh, this is the tank. This is the Fourth Armored Division H H HQ, and this is the uh, this is the Alpha Company of them. All right. So if we look at this specific, uh, let me give you an idea. There it is. There's the unit over there. If I open it up, it's got a structure. It's got units and everything in there, and it's rated with personnel, equipment, morale, cohesion, suppression, experience, training, aggression, stuff stubborn and all this type of stuff and then its values in terms of the personnel it carries armor value anti-piercing value then it's got an establishment where each unit you can actually have a look and see what that what the unit carries and if i double click on that i get a whole big explanation of this sherman tank 75 and it shows me the performance of of the thing as well the range <coughs> the crew the weight the length, the height, the arm on the front, side, rear, and top. Can you believe it? They simulated all of that. Then the command structure, <coughs> the leadership, who's in charge. Uh, the, and he's rated. All the leaders are rated. Like aggression, determination, efficiency, judgment, staff quality, staff efficiency, capacity, and load. I'll get through that now. The supplying base, where they're from, the history, and also what's happened to the game, what's happened to the unit in the game. Now, if you look at the top commander, he's got a, I'm just going to go to his command. Like some commanders, some of the, the generals in this game are like real generals. You know, they have each level, I think down to um, all these, like the brigade, company uh, platoon company level has is, is got a leader and he's rated in judgment staff quality and staff efficiency and then his capacity and how what his load is at the moment that means like he's got a command capacity if he exceeds that that capacity then there's orders the there's more penalties added to orders delay uh staff quality of this guy and his staff efficiency all factors into orders delay now how does the orders delay thing on works. Uh, let me just put them over there. How the orders delay thing works is like your structures. So uh, a, a, a corpse, a corps, has a much larger orders delay than, say, a, a division or a you know or a company or a brigade. So so when you issue when orders are issued, they've got to be translated down from this guy to his individual units and he gets an order from the guy on top or the guy higher up in him so the the higher the 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 the, the organization the large the longer the orders delay so when you issue an order to a unit does he doesn't add he doesn't automatically move you understand he's got a there's a whole delay in the structure so they simulated command structures in world war ii so damn well now here's another thing that affects that the staff efficiency of the person who's giving the orders. Uh, let me go back to this thing again. Okay, this guy, yeah. He's also, also rated depending on his staff, the, the quality of his staff and the staff efficiency and his load and capacity. So it's not just one figure, okay, a division, uh, 60 minutes to give an order for a division to start moving. Also, they take also what's taken into effect is the quality and the efficiency of the staff and the commander's judgment and his efficiency. So this game is a complicated game, but it you know the thing is it can be played simply. It's you can play it like an RTS. I can lasso that lot and say here's the orders part of it. I can say 
go there, and then there. Boom. And that's it. I can forget about it. Boom. There's it. Done. And those guys are given. I can last you those guys. Now watch. I'm just going to put this on. I'll keep this on current because I'm going to talk about current uh, Intel Nana. Now I can play this game. And he will, this guy, this lieutenant, he will give out the orders, the mortars will fire, the troops will go and shoot, and all this stuff. I don't need to do anything. So I'll just give you an idea. Yeah? Here we go. Now watch now. Now there, he's moving his hose around. He's going to go and take this objective here. There. I've asked him to take there. Okay? That's the objective. He's gone to go and shoot. I've given him a command. Now he will go and fight. He will go and fight. He will send those troops up in front. Uh, these guys will stay back. The mortars will support them. <coughs> they will advance there. They will do all this. And he he's given out the order and made the plan. Uh, are you with me on this? This is how... Now, let me just pause this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, the thing is, that's, that's how you can play it, if you want to. But, I mean, if you really want to get involved in the game, we could say, let's put it there and there. Let's give it one there. Okay. I'll just move it up. Now, here's the thing. Watch this. If I right-click on there, boom. I have all the sort of things that I can adjust in these orders. I can tell him what formation to take. Successive lines means that they'll, they'll fight in... They'll send their frontline troops and behind them there will be guys following up on them. I can use them a V-shape. I can tell him when to attack. You know, when to assault this X over here. I can tell him to use the quickest route. Go as fast as you can. I can tell him to use covered terrain or avoidance or safest, right? I can increase his aggro and his rate of fire. All right. Are you, are you with me now? I can I can increase that. I can make him. I can say, don't worry about the losses. I can increase his uses uses of ammo. I can tell him what directions to face. Uh, you know, after he's finished uh, assaulting, where must he face? I can leave it up to the AI. I can increase his frontage. You know, I can make his frontage much higher, or make it lower. You, you understand? So, if you increase the frontage, you spread him over a large, ra large uh, radius, right? Um, so for a certain unit, okay, it's up to a thousand for the size of unit. I can, can I make it small? I can make him, I can make him spread his forces over a large area. I can make it be a depth area. Uh, I can leave that on for the computer. For the guy, I can tell him to leave stragglers. Don't leave stragglers, but wait for them. All right. I can tell him to base his his um, supply. I can ask him to secure the crossing. I can use his artillery in his unit. He must. It's not allowed available for anybody else. Um, I can tell him when to rest. You understand? He can use a right echelon. He can he can defend all round defense when he gets there. This is the assault. How he's getting there. Oh, you understand? You, you see what I'm saying? I can then delete those orders. All right, let's give him a defend order. Now, here's the orders which you give him. You've got a an attack, a probe, a move, a defend, a delay, a fire, rest, deny crossing, secure crossing. So if I give him a defend order, I get sort of different orders. All right, let me just give you an idea. Yeah, yeah so now I can... I can ask him to ambush. It means he won't fire until the guys are very close. So he can attack people on the way while he's going there. Same with a move order. He can bypass enemy strong points. He can do the the same thing. He can go up to. He can go in road column, up move and, and end up in road column. So are you with me on the complexities of this game? I can change his facing, his frontage, all this type of stuff. And there's this the orders delay coming in, starting. Um, Affecting this. When will he move? <coughs> so I'm just doing this to give you an idea of what this game does. And the AI, I could I could lasso this whole force here and give them 
an order and say there. And then I just run this. And he will then make his own plans. Look there, look there. He's moving his units. He's showing me the orders. I'm just running it at fast speed so you can understand. And these guys are all fighting according to those orders with artillery and whatever. Well, he hasn't started moving yet. I'm sure he'll move now. But because I gave it to the top commander, you. Uh, there we go. There we go. Now he's he's going. He's going. I mean, there he's going. We have an airstrike available. I'm, I'll put it on fast speed so you can get an idea. There he's sitting in the back. He's put his artillery there and he's planned his whole move. Now he's waiting. He's got them reformed. Just putting it on fast so you can give, you have a good idea of, of what's going on in the fight. He's going to move now now. So now he starts. He's starting his assault. He's using terrain down here. He's, he's sending his tanks down here. And all the HQs are in here commanding their own sections. He's first going to go through there. Now the AI is now fighting him. Same sort of thing. It's doing the same thing. Now he's advancing up there. He's going there. I could just do that. This is how you can play the game. Without giving any interme intermediate orders or whatever. Okay, so, do you understand where I'm going with this game? Such an awesome game. Alright, so, now, the terrain. It's played on this, like, top-down. The lighter colours are the higher terrain. Then you've got, these are the, the gullies. You know, darker colours, lower down. You've got also what they call is a line, sorry, a line of sight. So, if you drag, you can see... That the red you can't see. The vision is where the lighter blue. You see the lighter blue. This is where vision is good. And then you can see the how the game, how the thing. It's, they've done this line of sight. Brilliant. You can see how the how the terrain. You know where the terrain goes in the in there by the center by the red it goes down and then up. So you can at any stage see what the terrain looks like and see the vision in the terrain as you've got it. Um, line of sight area as well. So if I click here, I can tell uh, green is good, red is bad, dark is you can't see, yellow you can sort of see. So I can go anywhere on the battlefield and get the line of sight of where I am. Uh, and then threats is just individual. So I don't know, it doesn't, it depends. The threats basically means that if you highlight on an individual, it'll tell you where his nearest threats are. This is how you can play this game. This awesome, fantastic simulation of World War II combat. You could just play it like as realistic scenarios as well. Uh, you play it out on these maps with detailed representation of all the areas and the towns that were there. And the road system as well. You can see rivers, crossings. If I highlight on there and I get four, well not four data. I'm looking for the crossing. If I highlight on the crossing, I can get the crossing data you know, light bridge. If I right click on any um, terrain, uh, it'll tell me, you know, the movement for the foot. Motorized unit can't move in, in dense forest. Direct hit percentage, area hit, and the slope. So all the terrain. Yeah. So <coughs> um, here are all the... Now the units on the battlefield are rated for uh like you've got their route status you see the icons lift up light up let me just go right to the beginning so tasks what's he doing now so as he processes tasks it'll tell you yeah what you know on on the icons what tasks all those oaks are using route status strength uh combat deployment facing morale you know lighter colors better lighter green uh, cohesion. Cohesion is also factored into this game. And fatigue. Uh, fatigue. How tired they are. Um, ammo. 
artillery, basic supply, and that sort of thing. And supply lines, whether they're in supply. Uh, I'll keep it on route status. Then you've got all units. This this is just a, yeah, on the bottom here where I'm clicking, it's just giving you, you know, if you want to sort out where all the different types of units, HQ units, that sort of thing. Units with orders and without orders. Uh, all units. And current. Now the game simulates art of, uh, intelligence brilliantly. Okay, so it's got, how it loads up. When you load it up, it's got all of the intelligence. So I can see everything. But I can't really. This is the beauty with this game. You can't really see everything. I've got it as a, all these guys. But it's it's based on an age system. Current and recent. So this is everything that's on the field. But if I look at what I can see now. Uh, where is it? Yeah. Current. Do you see that? All. And let me just say current. Now, currently is like within the last hour. So suddenly, there's these little dark black, uh, these these little black boxes. Uh, that means that we don't know if there's a unit there. We don't know. This is just, this was the last hour. So this, what we see now, we can see. But we we don't know with these little black boxes. And then recent is, a, is I think, a little bit older than current. And then all. You see how they lit up. So there was a unit here that I thought, hey, it's over there. But that's not the intelligence. That's, yeah, that's current. Current. These are current. So th I don't know if they're, I can't see them. Do you see how the intelligence works in this game? And it updates you on current and recent. So I always keep it on current. Uh, these are just, that's just your messages that come up on the, on the screen here, which I'll show you as I play the scenario. And then you've got command rating and supply. Now, you get your supply from this base. <laughs> uh, let me look at the force data. This is the base. Uh, it's like a resupply depot. Now, what it does is it supplies ammo, basics, like food and that fuel. And it supplies it. Each of these units, each of your units needs supplies. And this base thing, this thing supplies it via road and I think, yeah, mainly by road and that. And it sends your, when your units request supply at certain times, your units then request supply and it sends them out there. And it receives supply as well, uh, if I'm not mistaken. It receives supply from, at night times as well. I'll give you an idea of the supply. Uh, where is it? Yeah, this table here. Right, supply arrival chart. And, you know, when the supplies come in, because it, it looks like it receives supplies as well from the outside and then it distributes. Now, this thing with the supply, where are we now? Come on, the supply thing. These are the lines of supply and how the supply, so your troops, if the enemy is getting, gets here in between the two here, in here, this lines of supply is cut. And then your units is not getting supply. So it simulates supply in a realistic manner. <laughs> so you got troops up here, a command up here, and you got the supply down, and you got a command maybe here, and the enemy's gone in between you. This thing all becomes red. These oaks are out of supply. All right. Now you know how important supplies. Because eventually the guys run out of ammo, food, and all this. And then they start dying off. And the cohesion is, 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 is lost and all this type of stuff. So supply is realistically calculated in this game. I'm just going to switch the supply. Now you also have the commands. Command, commanders have radiuses as well. Like an army command, I think it's 60 kilometers. Um, let me just put on this thing. Each... Each area, you see where the, where the highlighted or the, the white highlighted crosses here, you know, the, the grid. This is a kilometer. This represents a kilometer. Now, each of your commanders have a radius, uh, command range. Uh, the, 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 the high, it's like it works down, like division, cord, whatever. Uh, I think the army is 60 kilometers. Now, if you're out of that 60 kilometers, the delays... 
to are increased to give out orders because they've got to go down the chain and then reach you down at the bottom there is your brigade and the delays are increased and as i said earlier how the thing simulates orders delay as well as the command official each commander like i was telling you uh let me just get the heads up sorry your commander um has a command range and he also has staff quality and his staff efficiency and the staff also determines how efficient orders can be up to 25 percent better or 25 percent less in time to to send an order out and also the capacity of the number of units underneath them are you with me on that so command structures and the way they in, in you know interrelate with all your units is is built as a core of this game now one thing i really love about what they've done with this game is the units as well in terms of the units i mean i love the fact that these guys are rated in terms of fatigue cohesion morale equipment personnel experience training as i said earlier aggression stubbornness and all the equipment is represented and they also have a leadership guy they also have a well he's not like this guy where's he yeah this guy yeah it's a lieutenant colonel and he's also his delays in orders and all that type of stuff is factored into his staff quality and his efficiency and his efficiency and depending on his leadership and his aggression his determination that's how good he'll be so when you give him orders he will act according to his statistics he will give units out according to how good a leader he is how aggressive he is so each individual command is unique and factored on realistic commanders uh, for the most part of of those battles and those 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 conflicts at, at that time in those in these theaters you know in the in the in the in the battle of the bulge and the western desert they've recreated this stuff realistically realistically so you can play it like an rts but you know because there, there's so much going under the hood in terms of the the and the ai in this game is smart i mean it's smart you can just point and click and go and and that's how you can play it or you can get involved like a real commander and the idea is obviously to issue commands one level down so if you've got like a like a, a, re, a, a regiment well like a, a division you'd issue orders to your different regiments and stuff like that like a like a real division commander would do and you tackle a battlefield with command combined arms from different areas and use all the different parts of your units separately to help you out you can give you uh, individual orders to individual units you know like he can i can give him i can take a unit out of this command and give it an order to go there and he will now be out of that structure this guy's structure if he was under there and he'll go and perform that function over there and i can then also <laughs> specify what he must do when he gets there what route he must take and how he must get there so i'm going to load up the let's just go back to the the beginning because i want to get back to the how the opening default to this let's load that so sorry no let me go back in here new uh so we can go back to the opening default so we uh yeah so that i just used that so i'm here at the beginning part again because i was just using that to show you how the how the how the command structures and that sort of work now your orders of battle oh so i'm still getting used to this your orders of battle come in these sort of structures but now you can you can create any kind of order of battle you want so if i uh pick this guy and i pick that guy oh hang on let me just put the control on and i pick this guy and i say to them go there right and yeah and that's it he's going to go and attack there this means 
that this guy has all of this now under his command. This is his order, his battle group. And if you look here at the order of battle, he was under this guy's command over here. You know, the, the, the Alpha CCA, 4th uh, Armored Division HQ's command. But because I've created a, a separate battle group for him, he's now, this guy's taken charge. This guy now, this HQ now, for they, the AO will determine which HQ is better. And now I've created a battle group. And I've asked them to go there with all this units and these units. And he's, he's now separate from, from this guy. So what you want to do is you want to create, obviously, just, just different battle groups for different functions. And what their capabilities are. Just to give you an idea of that. Um, anything else? <clears throat> I know, look, I'm not kind of doing justice to this. This is a fantastic, uh, realistic simulation of armed combat in the Second World War. At its finest. I mean, there's nothing I've seen on the market today that compares to this. Nothing. Not really with the detailed simulation of, of the combat and the terrain and the, the, the orders delay. And the way they've simulated fatigue and cohesion in each of these units. And personnel and leadership. For all your, for because your commanders all have leadership and aggression ratings and each of them. So you've got to take all of this into account, plus the equipment that they carry before you issue out the orders. And then these detailed orders, I mean, how you can specify what, what routes to take and the aggression ratings and when to start the assault and what formations to use and the frontage and the facing and all of that. And then you've still got to worry about the opponent. The guys that are fighting you. I mean, they got their... You know, this is... This is... This is detail. This is simulation at its finest. At its finest. Now, also on this screen, I just... I just want to give you an idea of... You know, basic idea. Because, I mean, I don't... I never played any of these scenarios. So, I'm also just going to be playing this in a hot seat. And I've, I promise you, I've played the... This scenario, yeah. This is a tutorial scenario, right? And I haven't beaten it. I mean, I've in preparing for this overview, I've played this thing, and it's recommended because the, the forces are favoured for the for the Allies against the Germans. It's a it's a fictional scenario, and I've played this tutorial a couple of times trying to beat it, and I've lost every time. I get wiped, sort of wiped out. I just can't get down here. I, sometimes I get there, and sometimes. So I don't always get, you know, everywhere. I don't always just make it on these things. Now, on this, on this, and I've tried this a couple, we spent hours trying to beat this thing. And I, it's, it's difficult if you're getting used to it. It's not easy in the beginning. Obviously, as I progress, because I'm going to pl be playing all the volumes, all of them, all the scenarios from the Germans and the British, like I did with, with if you look at my, my Flashpoint campaign series, I'm going to be playing the entire thing finished. So obviously by the end, you know, right by the end, I'll be good. I'll be better at this. I'll be competent. But in the beginning, I'm probably going to get my ass kicked a few times. There is a, there is a, there is one thing I wanted to sh show you. Now, these little buttons here, okay, like your planning. Now, I, this, this screen, you can move these screens around. This is now shows all the plans of uh, what I've planned, you know, the, like all the attacks and defense, and you can, uh, it comes in a row, yeah. You've got the message log as well. Okay, that highlights all the messages you get uh, through the game. The FS is all your uh, artillery, FS fire support, and you'll see that. I'm going to play the scenario for you now, now, so we'll go through the scenario, uh, how I did it, how I played out. The, uh, now the object, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, objectives in the game now the unique thing with this thing is the objectives are timed and there's a completion as well so you've got a series of objectives like the steinberg bridge right now this is an occupation this is what i get when i when i when i um complete the 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 so i get 8.3 points you know at the end of the scenario well it, it gives you a time yeah from First day to day five. So when I complete, I get 8.3 points, right? But now there's also an occupation uh, part that I also need to remember. 
as I sit here, well, I think it's, yeah, no, sorry, I get 13 points, my mistake. So it's eight. So the occupation is three. So I've got to, I get 4.2 on completion. That, that'll be given to me if I'm still holding the thing uh, at the end of the game. Plus, while I'm controlling it, this makes this quite complicated, quite uh, ingenious. While I'm on the X, I also get points that are added up slowly over time of 8.3. Uh, 8 so if I'm sitting on there and controlling the hex, I'm, I'm accumulating the, the points on there. If I move away and he moves in there, I don't get any more occupation points. Stops in, uh, stops in uh, adding up. And I'll only get the completion points if I actually went in and took the hex and the game ended. So as the game's progressing, if you're on that hex, you, you're getting occupation points up to it. It's like adding them up. <coughs> and if you lose it, you stop getting those points. Very unique. Uh, the way that they've done the objectives in these games. And some of the objectives aren't immediately available straight away. Like, for example, this is at 12 o'clock. Uh, on day uh, day one, this becomes active. So I won't get any points if I take it now. I've, only from 12 o'clock. So the way they... And then destroy the enemies, obviously, killing as much as you can of the enemy. And each one has got a co occupation. I've got to sit in it for a period of time to get the 25 points and the completion is only half of it you know it's less than half the occupation points so only at the end if i get it i'll get 12 but most of the majority of points are me sitting there and holding on to the objective and that only starts in day two from six to six so you can see the complexities and the and the intricacies of this game are off the charts man off the charts um Anything else? And then you get also reinforcements. It tells you when the reinforcements come. They come down here. When they're arriving and basically what 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 they are. If I could look at my entire... You see the order of battle? Uh, the order of battle just details really what's... Okay, so that was because this is a battle group. It, what I have on the field. But this is dynamic based on me creating these... Uh, command these different battle groups but if i put it as i think it's organic yeah if i put it as organic the order of battle then it shows me the proper order of battle and all the reinforcements that are coming uh and what what is what is actually coming and i can actually look at it okay what's coming and then you've got uh, the player one and you've got a, another one as well so when you create battle groups it it adjusts your adjusts your uh, order of battle uh yeah um anything else i know i know i'm just i'm not doing justice to this because this is a really detailed game but i'm trying to cover the basics if you if you uh yeah you see command lines like he's he's now he falls under this guy if i click on this guy these are all the guys under his command. He's got that HQ plus all his, you see the little green lines, and then he he, he supports, he uh, uh, reports to this, the big guy on the map. Okay, the on-map on map, uh, boss. Um, yeah, it's it's actually, it's actually, it, it doesn't, it doesn't take that long to learn how to, because I mean, I read the manual about three times. I've been on the forums. I watched that uh, awesome intro by the that, uh, guy that from panther games uh explaining how how the different functions work there's 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 a lot it's it's actually quite intuitive because you can uh, lasso and change them around but it's difficult to master it's not easy because your units act on their own prerogative and they don't you know they don't follow what what you tell them to do like real commanders and they sometimes hunker down and they don't go and take those objectives or they so it's there's a bit of there's a bit there's a bit to learn here to get used to you know but i mean once you start getting used to it and everything's structured in realistic detail orders of battle of what was at that period and the generals and their fatigue ratings and their sorry their 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 aggression and leadership ratings all of this is factored into this game and then you've got terrain as well all the rivers and bridges and and things you can cross so the best thing for me to do i think i've come these, this is the map up here there's the time and day so it's night time and daytime as well in this battle 
in these barrels you've also got the min temperature six and uh, it gives you the temperature when sunrise and sunset it tells you the, the the time of the day over there and there you can get started and go and play it and tells you when it's from when the name of the scenario and this is just this aid so this aid i showed you the line of sight remember now you can also because you give these orders like i gave this order to this guy over here this lot here and i told him to uh, let's say we, we covered the covered route. I told him to take the covered route. Now you don't know, you know, when you what the covered route is, because I mean you kind of know it will be round because this is high ter ter uh, terrain, so you obviously go around sort of like this way. But you don't, you can't see that. So if you want to see what the covered routes are for that. You can see like he's a, okay, this guy's a, a, a motorized or a, you know, a tank unit sort of thing. So you want to see how he would get to to there. So I would say, okay, motorized and I want covered route. So I'll click on him and then I'll click on the end there. And it shows me the route that that would take. This unit would actually take. If, the, if I pick covered, this is how it would take a covered route. Right? If I pick shortest, I click on there and click there, and then we go straight over the road. So that's what that, and this is a tool, and it tells you the duration. This is a tool to help you, because so you can plan where to go and how to come. Now I will say this much: the here are all the 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 filters, but the the most important ones are these. Okay, so the movement on foot. So foot can, these are the, you can see blue is the best movement and then green is, uh, is okay movement. Green is good movement. Now, but you can move everywhere over here. So this is what foot could, you, you can go everywhere. And they, these are the, you see, these blue ones will sort of highlight the roads. But if I look at motorized, you see where it's dark gray, you can't go in there, can't go in there. So the motorized can really, you see where the blues are, can really only travel on the roads can't cross rivers really or fords can only tanks and and trucks and that can only go on the roads and they can go everywhere where there's blue and green here but they can't you can't send trucks through dense forest you see these little overlays and then this is a uh, control so if for example like this here it tells you a motorized can't go through this pine woods but the foot can at 21 29 percent movement speed so all of this you've got to factor in so if you send, and I was reading about this, if you send, say, a section of feet of uh, infantry and, and and armor to an area, and the infantry can go through it, but the armor can't. So uh, they'll go to that area, but the armor will take the road, a roundabout route for the road, and the infantry will go direct, and they'll meet up over there. So the, the game is smart. Smart. The AI is smart. And they've really captured... Uh, combat in World War Two it's at such a level I can't believe it. Um, there's nothing uh, that that comes close to that I've seen on the market that comes close to simulating uh, command and control and realistic orders of battle and combat in World War Two than this this particular game. It's sent it over. It's not like big operations. We're looking at like the biggest scenarios like nine days. So it's small, short uh, fights. Of the uh, operations of those areas of those areas uh, by the by the by the, the, the designers of these scenarios so it's short fights nine days but hell uh, if you know you go by it it's I'm, I'm pretty sure it's I mean I've played it a bit now and I'm, I'm sure it's worth it's worth every penny so far it's such a such a good game um, is there anything else that I wanted to before I start the tutorial no, and these are just all. It's best you see when I when we play the tutorial how this thing works, and then you've got, uh, yeah, this is your supply which I showed you. That just brings up that. That's a that's a, and then there's a task menu, and you can move those things around. Crossing points, and then all. Okay, then it brings it back. All right, so I'm just gonna look. now. I've set up. I've started the so I set up all the moves in the tutorial. So I'm going to load that up for you now. Okay, so here we are. All right, here's everything loaded. Now, I've, we've got this. This is a, a Objective X, that one to get. And there is others over here that's going to come. These are Objective Xs. Now I'm going to... 
Um, this is what I've done. I've placed, I've sent this infantry here, right, to go and 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 take command of that those trees over there, that those 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 pine woods there, and I've sent them on successive lines, which means they'll they'll create they'll go first line and this there'll be a follow up line. Success, that's the attack. I've asked them to start at the assault at seven fifteen. They're going to use covered route. And I put all their aggressions on Maxinov, uh, the rate of fire maximum, and the ammo. And I've put their facing that way. And I've made it 400, so it's pretty tight. And that's what I've done with that. This little armored uh, column, this has got armored half tracks and some Shermans, I think. If I'm not mistaken. I think it's got, yeah, it's got some of these Shermans in there as well. Um, I've sent them to uh, reorganize over here, get ready for the attack over there, and then go into that X over there. And they go in there at, at half past seven. I've asked them to assault at half past uh, because they're a little faster than the infantry, and the infantry will probably get there quicker. They've also got covered route, so I'm hoping they're going to follow this round here. Successive lines. And yeah, all of that set up. Then I've asked these guys, this is this armored command of, yeah, this has got armored, this is like an armored um, command, yeah? Let me just open the OB. Just getting used to all this, I promise you. This is the, yeah, this is the tank battalion, right? 35th tank battalion. I've sent him there just to park off there because I'm going to use them later to, to, to take this X. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've actually, yeah, I've sent my, my, my main guy, the, the head guy, the fourth, the CCA, armored uh, division, HQ over here, just to sit over there. And I've also sent his, his, his uh, supply base to go over there. And these guys, these, this is the artillery. I've, I've, I've scheduled them to uh, fire at uh, 18 minutes past 7. Both of them. And this one as well. Uh, let me have a look here. Yeah, 18. So they will start bombarding this area yeah, at 18 minutes past 7 uh, just so they can help these guys get across here. And these guys will bombard this area so they can stop. I've sent one, this guy, this one because I, I followed that tutorial a little bit, not completely, but a little bit, where he put oaks on the ridges here, this high ground here, so that they could shoot, cover this road here, and shoot oaks that want to bring people down here. And this this guy, he said, because it's got good anti-personnel. So let me see, give you an idea. It's got a good, it's got these these quads. These are anti-air, but they, they're pretty good against personnel. They're pretty, they've got an anti-armor and an anti-personnel uh, gun going. So they can help out on this ridge here. And when are they going? Uh, see, sorry. Oh, let me put that over there. Dismiss that. When are these oaks going? Okay, edit task. They're going at... Yeah, 7.05. So they will start early. Earlier than area because these guys... If they from a far away, they've got to get there. Uh, they've got to get there uh, on time while these guys are making their assault. But just a little bit after. Uh, menu. Let me just give you an idea of the options so you can get a better idea. You can use military symbols or norm. I prefer it like this because military symbols confuses the shit out of me sometimes. You know, all these little blocks and squares and this is mortarized and they got crosses and whatever I always get hate military symbols this enables me to tell me okay this unit's got mainly armor uh, mainly uh, anti-tank or or yeah these are mainly infantry so i could see uh, straight away i mean if you look at it there's sort of tanks there's sort of like armored infantry you could see straight away you know where's these infantry and these tanks without having to work out all those military symbols um this the auto scale thing I liked because it brings you, it makes the units a little smaller. But I've noticed that sometimes when you zoom out, you can't see everything. You know, it's just, and then it becomes highlighted. So 
I left that off because I, I want to, if I zoom out, I want to be able to see. And then you've got extended info. I liked this when I was playing the scenarios. I put this, this thing on and it was lacquer, but it's, the problem is it gives you all this extra information of what the unit's up to and whatever. The only problem is it clutters the battlefield, especially when they get a lot of units and stuff. This thing begins all confusing. You know, the, the, all these things on the side tends to clutter the, 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 the field a bit. So I sort of left that on. I might switch it on later scenarios. I don't know. And then I've auto-saved every five minutes. Uh, the reason I've done that is the game... Uh, well, I've had two, one, two issues where it's dumped me to the desktop. So I've just kept it on, 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 on every five minutes. So if there's a, if it crashes or dumps me to the desktop, I can just, you know, carry on with a video and go straight back to the last five minutes. So it just gives me that extra bit of protection. All right. So now, yeah, that's it. That's, that's the plan. That's what I've done for now. So yeah, so let's fight. I'll put this on a, on, on a. I've, I've put it on current because I like it on current, you know, the Intel. And there, you see now, look there. This is all, all recent. It's not accurate. It was the last hour they were seen there. So we don't know if these units are there, if anybody's there. Now, you get all the messages on the top here as it comes. You know, what's been completed. And you see the guys getting all ready now. So I'm just going to speed this up a bit so that we can get, because I've told them to take it, and they're not going to sell straight away. It's after seven. So we can get this. Now they've gone to the, all their reforming places, and they're getting ready for this assault. That's about seven. Now we should start seeing some action here. Hey, I tell you, this game's fun to play, man. Fun to play. Oh! Yeah, there's my artillery now shooting. Now I'm going to... I just want to pause this. I want to open the uh, the FS because now I can control the artillery. So you need to you need to keep an eye on the artillery. So he's starting to bomb you. So there, so the great with the artillery is I can adjust these fires as I see them. So they do. He's doing this artillery strike for me. I'm trying to soften him up before I go in. So watch my units going in. This game is fun. He's sending in his troops. I've got my plans are all sort of going. Okay, there's the fight. Okay, good. Now it's going to slow this down a bit. Okay, I just want to see. Them. Okay, so they are busy assaulting here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to move this so that they can... Artillery can target in the woods here. And I'm going to now change this artillery over here. I want to actually hit these mortars and stuff over there. So I'm going to change, move that... Let me just make sure they cover these O's and the trees here, because I want them treated. And these O's. want to drive these oaks out of here. Now with this bombardment here, I want to hit his, I want to hit his uh, main sort of anti, uh, his, uh, anti, his artillery. So I'm going to keep driving these oaks up. See how I'm moving the, the fire of the artillery. So now we've, we've achieved the, the bridge here. This guy. And these guys are going to move into the woods here for me. And stop these oaks from coming in here. I actually want him to shoot over there. Yeah, drive the infantry out here. There. Now I've said, I'll just pause it. I've You can pause the game. This is the thing with the game. It's so awesome. Uh, I've set the artillery to fire. It was initially for three hours. But I'm going to... You, you, I've, I'll have to wait till, uh, 10, uh, till 10 o'clock before I can give them another order. But they set at one hour now because they've been shooting for two hours. 
So let's get, and you get airstrikes here as well. I'll show you when you get them. Now I want this guy. I'm gonna move him there because I want him to bomb there. I want this. I want to clear out that X there. Yeah. I actually want to chase these O's away from you. Follow him. Okay, I killed him. You see the little cross means I can now I want to put some more on these artillery here on this hill because I'm going to assault this later. I want this artillery on there. So I'm just waiting for these O's to secure the yeah, X. Get in there and move their troops. Uh, actually, I want him up there. I want to drive these O's away from you. They see all these messages. It's tell me what I've suffered here. And these yellow ones are urgent. Now I'm going to bring this artillery. Maybe back to there. And shoot here on the road. And shoot there at the back there. Cover me there. Now I'm just waiting for these guys, because these guys, I'm going to, see I have an airstrike. So if I pick a, I'm going to shoot the airstrike over there. Alright, now he then said, the airstrikes are abstracted, so you send the airstrike, you click where you want it, you get them every now and then. So we have another one available. I'm going to send him into the trees then. Okay, so basically these guys are covered these X's now. So, I'm going to pause the video. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this command. This guy, yeah, with his infantry and his tanks. He's got mainly tanks, Shermans and stuff. I'm going to ask them to assault this, 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 uh, uh, this objective, yeah. Where's the, where's the objective? This one, this one. I know he's not lit up now. When does he start? At 12. I know he's not lit up now, but it'll take about... Because, I mean, it's half past 10 now. So, it'll take him... He'll get there at about 12. And at least he's there on the objective. And he's taken it. I want to do it early. Because now I've cleared his infantry out of here. And he's, this is the problem on the hill, really. This is where the issue is. And these guys are, these guys are going to stop firing now, now. So, I'm going to... I'm going to put one... I'm going to... You do a new fire order to the back because I know I must have artillery there at the back, and I'm going to sum away like four, five hours, six. I want him to shoot all day at that thing, and I've kept his ammo not at max. His ammo I've kept it at 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 um, a normal, so I can shoot for a while. And I'm going to wait. I have to wait for this guy to finish his bombardment, so I'll wait till he's finished. Now. I'm going to give these guys, this this command over here, I'm going to give him a attack order. Now he's going to, yeah, I think I'm going to specify his movement. Boom. And then I'm going to put him in the town there. And then I'm going to have him attack here. Okay, good. Now he, on this X, I'm going to sp specify... Let's just see what I'll get here. Now you can go when he when he's ready. I'm going to use successive lines. He's going to be shooting at max and rate of fire. He's going to use up all his ammo. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what the... I think I'll leave it at auto when he gets there. I'm not going to specify the size there. Let the AI do that. And... Yeah, I think that's... I think that covers it. And then let him go. And then he's going to... He's going to hopefully follow this route here. I want him to go down here behind the Zelia so he can't be shot. Um, yeah, uh, that's how I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I hope this thing works because, I mean, he, the forming up area is the most dangerous. And, uh, oh, I do want to make sure shortest because sometimes when I've been playing this scenario, I'm going to say shortest. So he doesn't, yeah, shortest. So he doesn't. How can I say? So he doesn't wander down here. Sometimes the I've noticed that he'll go into the X and he can't get in there. Then he'll send his HQ right around this long way. So I want everybody to go that way. Yeah, I think that's. 
I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna start that. Uh, yeah. So let's fight. This guy, yeah, I actually wanted him to. He's, uh, he was just sorry. I just wanna. I just wanna make sure he secures the crossing. I forgot to. Oh, I did put it secure crossing. Okay, so what that means is, if this is like a crossing point, if it's crossed. If there's like a bridge or something there or whatever and it was primed to be blown up the engineers you'll use his engineers in here to actually unprime the bridge so that it'll, it'll remain open so we have the stein big bridge so we're already accumulating occupation points our completion at the end of scenario will be four but the 8.3 points will come from occupation so we must hold this bridge as long as possible all right let's go now I'm going to change him to shoot over there and I'm going to edit, let me just pause this otherwise it's <laughs> and I'm also going to hit him like six, eight hours or whatever as far as he can go, shoot, boom, so he's shooting, okay good, so I don't know what was blocked there. Now this guy yeah is helping out shoot on the ridge here. See all these messages on top telling you what's so I, I'm gonna adjust these bombardment orders here and there everywhere where I find those. I want these O's shooting on these mortars and stuff, because that's artillery is the is the real problem here. Friendlies in the way. That's the artillery's smart, so what it'll do is if you've got too many O's that are close by of your O's, it'll it'll protect them, it won't shoot. That was that. Okay, so now he's protecting me in the woods and I got him like occupy occupying it. So I'm gonna move this there to that ridge there. So you can shoot on that ridge. Now do you see these O's now? See these O's? These O's this this command this command is moving up here, they're gonna reform there, they're gonna attack this hill. But they got to be careful for artillery fire and stuff. That's why I'm bombing this, these ridges here, because I want to get occupation of that. Yeah, he must just keep Bobby there. See that little cross? I've already destroyed it over there. I want to keep these O's out of the picture here. That's why I'm sending one down there. Now he'll start his attack down there. If you leave them on call and don't give orders, they will shoot and fire by themselves, this artillery. I want them on this ridge here. Because I want him to protect my guys here and shoot. Hmm, some artillery, some infantry here. Uh. Now, I'm going to bomb this artillery and bomb that big section over there. Uh, he's out of ammo now, so I gotta wait for him to resupply. Okay, I'm gonna keep on this artillery over there. And him over there. All this artillery I want out of that bridge there. I want these guys, I wanna follow these guys so that he's out of ammo, so he's gonna be a while. We can claim this X. I'm just gonna just check where is his HQ? Okay, there. He's going in there. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, 
you gotta watch it, you gotta keep it honest. Even though it's hands off a lot of the time, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta keep it on this thing. Okay, space bar, go. I wanna secure that X. See, it's got the time now, I can secure it. I want him over there. And I want him, him over there, yeah, I wanna shoot that. See what I've lost now. There, stop him over there. Yeah, the shooter is good. The artillery is like, like a leading me up here, helping me out here. So I can get into this X here. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, that's good. Just trying to get all this. Get him out of this, the, get these Germans out of this. Now, you see that, like, this is a recent report, but it's, you don't know. You don't know. It was the last time they were sighted. He's still out of ammo. When are you getting some ammo back? He's got no, his ammo's almost done. Alright, there. Okay, so... Okay, so he's got friendlies in the way. So let's try and get him down here. His ammo's out though. He's got no ammo. I want these eyes off these ridges here. Out here. <sighs> okay, so I've secured that X. This is great. So what do we have? We've now got both these X's and we're getting occupation points. So this is how I'm going to sit because now reinforcements, these guys are coming at 1 in the morning, 2, two o'clock in the morning, this lot. This lot, the 16 units. This is this uh, the, the Bravo company of this, this division. All right, this 4th Armored Division. So the Bravo uh regiment brigade that's coming at that time so i'm gonna hold tight here so i can get some because you gotta just take these x's and then piss off somewhere else because he comes back in here and reclaims them and you lose the x's so you've got to you've got to occupy the stuff and then figure out a plan to get all these other x these other objectives over here when they come available so there's a bit involved here all right so let's just Okay, so what I, what I want you to do is I want you to move up there. Yeah, bomb there for me. Okay, so you're going to have to, you're going to have to, I think I can put you on. Uh, hang on, let me just pause this. Where's your thing? I'm going to delete this. Wait, hang on. I'm going to delete it, okay? I'm going to delete that fire, and I'm also going to delete this fire here. Delete it until they get some ammo. I'm just going to wait until these guys get some ammo. In fact, I'm going to move him. Uh, to there. Okay, close to this side. Because the whole lot comes down the bottom here. So I want these O's sort of together. All right, and he's going to go and call over there. Let's just speed that up a bit. So let him go and sit next to that guy. And then maybe they can get some ammo. Let them stay on cover. Let them... I'm just going to hang on here. I'm playing it at fast speed. So I'm just waiting for the... So it's not done now. So those are, those are on call here. I'm just... They're going to get supplies now. Now if you look at the... I'm just going to give you an idea. If you look at the supplies you see you see how the but this is not you see this red i'm not getting supplies here 
because this must be a unit here interceding. But this, you also you see, we lost the objective here because he's sneaking up on us here. You gotta understand that this, this, this is also age. This is not like immediate. This, this might not be the actual situation. It's a little bit delayed. See there, there. Now we're getting all these supplies in there, so it's updated. It's coming from, and these O's are being supplied over here. Supply uh, is important in this game. Okay, so I'm I'm defending this thing, but I just don't have enough units here. I'm waiting for my resupplies. Here. I'm gonna get a. I just don't have enough units to defend this. That's why when 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 that. See, I'm gonna lose this 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 X here. When that uh, at two o'clock, when that other. Brigade comes. I'm going to split them up. I'm going to put one guy, one in guy, also to retake this because this thing. I played this a few times and I keep losing this. This is not enough units here. In fact, I'm going to ask him to defend on this X, but I'm going to make it. He uh, won't. Maybe won't X now. I'm going to make it all round and max and 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 that. I'm going to make it an all round. I'm going to leave everything to the guy here. But I'm going to make it all run. He won't move now. Well, he will. It sometimes takes forever. Uh, but at least he can defend all round there. Cover all the, the bases in there if he can. So we still, I'm still getting this objective. And this guy's still covering the, the god in the root here. I'm a, how's my okay the ammo is getting better now it's getting better see all those the o's are killed here all these crosses of these o's that were killed so he comes here no he comes and he wants to take over yeah he he moves o's in from all over and these are all reports of a last scene so we don't know what's here you know and then they disappear as a, and like he's sending that that we, we know is coming because they're, they're having that fight there He has the wind meter. I didn't mention this before. This is the wind meter. Uh, it's, and there's your weather changing. The wind meter, like, how, wind lose, how are you doing in the scenario? But it's not always accurate. I was reading the manual because it takes into account his... Because his objectives might be different. You, uh, I was reading there that sometimes he, you will have these objectives, like I have now. And he will have other objectives to, to get. Sometimes. If I'm not mistaken, and you don't know what he has, so it's it's his objectives and your objectives all added up together. Okay, so now we got this this lot over here. Okay, this uh, let me just switch that one off there. We got now. Let me give you an idea. I'm just gonna because this can get this can get quite complicated. I've split this lot up. So the fourth armor division. Now this this he's the main o. He's the main o. He's the, the guy in charge. I mean, if you look at him, um, there's no bio there, but his quality, he's uh, Hugh Gaffey. And this is his statistics. He's the main o in charge of this whole division. He's the division commander. And then he's got Bravo. And there's a there's a reserve one as well. that comes with similar type thing. It's got tanks and armored infantry. Now, I'm going to pause the video now, and I'm going to set this up. I want these oaks to come out, and then I will, uh, and then I'll, I'll show you. Okay, so what I did with that whole thing is I've taken this fourth infantry, the tenth armored infantry battalion. These are with all this infantry in here, and I haven't told them to go. I've told them to assault here. Okay, to attack this so they can re-attack it and then claim it again. So they're coming in, they're going to reform and go in there. And they're going to help these guys so that I've got more bodies there and move them up. You understand? Because this really is the most best way to come across here. You got these bridges, these things like these are all blown up. So you, the best way to come. So they, I'm going to get them there and they're going to help these guys over here. 
the tank battalion. Uh, these are sort of the tanks that came with this Bravo uh, regiment or brigade. I send them onto the ridge here. Yeah, so that they can see this high ground here. They can get an overlook view of anything over here and they can shoot and help out there. And they also going to maybe at some stage move up here. But that's how I've sent it now. So I want us to just to secure these bridges, these, these objectives. And then I've sent this, uh, where is he now? Okay. I've sent the armored uh, division headquarters, the Bravo company there with his base. And then I've put the 4th Armored Division there. Just to get the clutter out of here. Because when the, the Oaks arrive, you understand, they all arrive in this big, big blob here. <laughs> and it's very hard to, like, choose and see what's going on. So, I've, this is the big guy. I've sent him there. Okay. And I've sent one of his... Uh, this is this other... This thing over here. Uh, with his tractor... What are these things? This is like a long shooter. Uh, artillery. Yeah. Um, these howitzers. These things. Because they're going to be my, on my on call for me. And they're going to help me out over here uh, when the sun comes up. Alright, so that's how I've sent that. Let's see if that all gets done. Now, I haven't timed any of them. or given them assault time, so I just sent them. So I'm going to open up my FS, so I've got this thing going here. So there they are now, and they're on call, they're deployed. Now these guys, these guys are going to now go and take that X thing. And the tanks are still waiting. I don't know why, maybe they take longer. This might be a bit of an orders delay there. Just hoping I can get my infantry over there. Hang on. Now I want to, I want to, I want to pause this, because I want to see if I can, shoot this this lot over there yeah yeah if i can and make it whatever time let's just see if i can because sometimes i've noticed artillery doesn't shoot at night <laughs> okay so i don't know if it's gonna shoot because he comes all over the place i mean he comes now nah, he's resting he's not gonna shoot when's he When's he gonna shoot? Let me have a look here. 348, yeah, but he's now resting. He won't. He won't. But now, if he's resting... Okay, let me delete this one. Maybe this guy can... Can shoot ya. Because he's on call. Let's make this... Whatever. Let's see if he can shoot. I don't know if he's gonna shoot. So I've got him bombarding, but I don't know if he's going to bombard. Yeah, he's supposed to be bombarding, but I've set him down to... Hang on. Let me just see what he's... Oh, uh, no. Four, well, he's supposed to be shooting now, but he's not. Okay, there he's dead. So he can... Ah, he's now bombarding. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to move him to there. And bombard there. Well, these guys get into this ridge here to help out here. Because I need the completion points from them. I don't want to use up all their ammo, you understand? So, he's got a lot of ammo. Just to cover my, my approach over here with my infantry, armored infantry. You can, you can take out the, you see a void friendly. So what happens there, if you take that out, you'll just shoot anyway. You'll kill everybody there. But if you put it on there, if your units get close to where you're shooting, it'll stop shooting, which is a nice fail-safe uh, fail uh, thing. Is he still going there? I hope he's, yeah, he's going, he's in it. So we can get some bulk here. Now this, so, uh, this, so, uh, yeah. No, no, he won't shoot you. I'm actually going to delete that order. 
because look at the ammo you know the ammo is a little scarce here so i'll need the ammo for tomorrow so i'm not gonna okay so they give me more ammo ah brilliant okay i need this o's ammo so now i put my armored command who's this who are these o's Ah, oh, this is now shit who's who's arrived now <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, he's coming in 25 minutes. Who the hell are these O's? Okay, let me look at this. Let me just look and find out who these O's are. Who are these O's? Oh, no, these... Ah, uh, you know what? This O's... No, 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 I got confused here. This O, this is the Stag Battalion. It hasn't moved yet. And he's HQ, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's got O's underneath him, like, okay, they're still sleeping. <laughs> it's night time, you've got to remember that. Okay, I got confused there. I thought I had got another command from somewhere. Okay, these, this is why it's all clumped up here. And this, this base, who's this base? Where's this base come from? I just wanted to just check here, hang on. So I can get a, who's the base? Oh, that's the, that's the CCB base. And he's got this and all this and all this. Okay, so I'm going to. Oh. Oh, hang on. Oh no, no, he's moving. He's uh, he's moving to there. Okay, I've moved them, but they haven't moved yet. Sorry about that. I'm just I'm just getting used to this. This the way this game plays. <laughs> it's a ton of fun, man. Okay, let's speed it up a bit. So I should, uh, should secure that objective. I should get it because, I mean, I've got more units in there now. So that all those supplies come in. Now the tanks will move up eventually. Okay. Let's get the tanks on the hill. Okay, there's it, there's it. Okay, good. Now, I actually want to move this base. Um, oh, he's, he moved there. Okay, I actually want to move this base as well. Move it to, say, there. So it's nice and center. Okay, good. Now I'm on this objective, is this guy still, he still got this defend, he still got this defend objective here, but I still haven't got this objective, this, this loot, whatever. So I mean, I need to, I mean, I'm right on the secured the objective, I don't know why I didn't get it. Okay, so my reinforcements are coming. Ooh, day three at seven, so that's a whole day. So I've moved in there to protect that. Now I'm thinking... I'm thinking, because I need to, that I'm going to just let it just run a bit. I'm thinking, okay, so he's moved. I'm thinking now, these guys have got all of, they, well, he hasn't really been supplied, man. So. It's these units around here that's worrying me, man. That's worrying me. And I don't want to shoot all my artillery. And I want to. I'm thinking of bringing, because now this is coming tomorrow at 7, that's a whole reserve company that's coming, or brigade, battalion, so I'm thinking of moving some infantry up here, and then moving the, the infantry and the tanks to take this, this section here, this infantry and these tanks, and leaving this on this X here, because I need to secure this, but there's still O's here, so I'm going to I'm going to throw some bombing over there. And let's just put this on for maybe two hours. And this, so I'm going to throw a bomb over there. Because that was the last time we saw him. And I'm going to put this on for like say two hours. Just to, just to cover me there. So he's now. 
so we can get that oak there okay he's got friendlies in the way so I'm gonna move him a little bit that way let me just see if we can clear this out here and the We've killed a few over here, and I actually want to move this up here. Yeah, because he's like in my way here. And then I'm going to move him also there. Now I want this O oh, to take this X. <laughs> I want him to take it. I know he's defending that, but I actually want him to to take the X and I want him to to take it but I want him to have a bigger sort of area here yeah get move forward a bit and I'm not going to specify he can decide what he's going to do and I'm going to keep it on auto and he's going to take this hex and secure it and move forward a bit because he's not they're not covering this hex properly um anything else here no the successive lines no so let's just go and do that let him take that x there's a bit of a delay there Is he taking that X there? <laughs> Let him just move there. What a bomb on those suspected positions there as well. Gonna, I'm gonna take him the friendlies out so that I can uh, get closer to him. Let me have a look here. Okay, so I still haven't got this X here. I don't know why. I mean, I'm right on top of it. Why am I not getting that X? So, I'm going to... I'm going to move this infantry and this tanks. I'm going to move the infantry to defend there because I want him to shoot along the way and I'm going to get the tanks as well to move in there and defend there. Let's just see if that works. So I'm going to take this infantry. And I'm going to move him along this route here. One, two, three, and four. Okay. And I'm going to ask him. And I'm using this because he, he attacks people along the way. And he'll use successive lines. No, I'll keep him as whatever he wants. And he's going to have max, min, max. Yeah, and I'm going to keep him. I'm not going to ask him to buy, but I want him to attack O's along the way. Okay. And I want this O to also... Uh, yeah, I'm also going to ask him to attack, but I'm, asking, I'm, I'm going to ask him to secure that. So he's going to... One, two, three four and then he's going to go in there and try and secure that objective and i might be a bit early yeah but i don't know i'm still getting used to this thing <laughs> okay uh and he's going to use successive lines all right and he'll have an auto facing okay good now i haven't timed it so i'm just going to make sure that they has he got max fire on there yeah he's got max everything and i'm going to 
shoot the artillery as we go. And I'm going to keep this guy commanding this side over here. Let's just see if that works. Because it doesn't look like anything else is coming here. I hope I don't lose as if I'm still sitting, I'm I'm in a losing situation at the moment. But let's just see if that thing works. Got a lot of fast speed. Okay, where are you going? Alright, you going. Alright, good. Change the dose. So let him shoot. Okay. I actually want to bombard here. Yeah. And um, well, in fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to uh, do a few hours, so I can always cancel you whenever. And yeah. All right. Just to carry, just to watch my advance. Now I'll use these those to just this artillery, uh, just to watch watch my advance. Yeah. Uh, poor visibility. That's why we can't. He's got some ammo, but I'll need him for later. Hmm. Trying to get this out in the hill here. Yeah. Okay, let them go. Let's see if I can get those others in the hill here. We're gonna fight all the way up to the top there. Why aren't these guys securing this bridge here, man? Is he still going there? I mean, look at the plan. Okay, he's still attacking that thing. <laughs> Must be the orders delay, man. I gotta learn this game. All right, good. Now these guys are gonna go and sleep now. <laughs> okay, good. Good, they, they're moving oaks out of their path. We lost this subjective here. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. Or well, maybe I moved too soon. Now I'm worried about my supplies. I should have actually, I should have actually bombed these, these oaks. I should have waited a bit. I got the objective back again. See, a minute he has like one O. He has like one O. Okay, so they, they're not Bob, they're dug in, resting. Okay, so they all need their beauty rest. Now, I should have this hex here, yeah, because I mean, I got all these O's here. Yeah. Now, can I shoot with him? See if I can shoot with this guy. I know he's got, he hasn't got many, hasn't got, let's make it a few hours. Let's see if he'll shoot that oak over there. Now, he's gone. He's gone ahead there. That's no good. Yeah, no, he's on call. He's not going to shoot because it's night time.
Now they're going to sit and rest where they are. The thing is, I should have this X here, man. I'm right on top here. I've got all these O's in here. I don't know why I haven't claimed this X. I'm going to set another task for him. I don't know why I haven't claimed his X. Because, I mean, I've got all these O's here. He doesn't have as many O's as I've had. So, I'm just going to try and claim this X again. I'll just let, let him uh, do it and see what happens. I'll leave it on auto. I don't know why I'm not claiming this X here. Because, I mean, there's nobody around me. Why am I now? I'm like sitting right on top of the objective. So why am I not getting any, well I'm running it now full speed, let's just see if these guys will still move. Do I have any, yeah, I've got some ammo here, I've got to watch out for the ammo. I've killed all these O's over here. See the crosses over here, these are all the guys that were killed. So I don't know why. Maybe I must move him. Let me just pause this and move him. Let me also just defend on that X there. Right. Let him go there. I'm not going to just put his May rate of mates. I'm taking one of those commander guys. I'm going to send him to there to defend. Maybe I add more O's. Maybe I just don't have enough O's there. All right. Let's speed it up again. No, no, he's fine. No, no, he's going. And these tanks are all vying. So I wonder why I don't have this X here. I'm like right on top of it. I even ask them to like... No, somebody arrived here. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to just pause this uh, video and make these moves for this uh, reserve comp, uh, battalion that's arrived. Okay, so what I've done is I've ordered these O's to like reassault this hex here, this objective, because I mean I've got enough O's here. I don't know why I'm not claiming this hex, and they're all sitting on this hex. So that's this one is is claimed. I carry on with these O's now. I've, just to show you what a complex attack is, the, these were little. Uh, you know, like little company attacks, you know, that that we split our, like, let me give you an idea, like a whole command, and we, like I was showing you, I split all these little HQs, all these little HQs into separate attacks around here, and then over there, you see that, I've st and they even though they're still under this guy, they have their own task forces. Now, what I've done here is I've created a complex attack, so I haven't split them up, I've taken this whole reserve command with everything, his armored infantry, everything. And I've asked him to take down this route here, down to the bottom, up to there, up to there. The reform over, well, let's just make it, you know, let's reform there, right? Reform over here, and then attack the main St. St. Uh, St. Vith's uh, uh, area. So I've done that. So you can see how that thing works. We'll see how that works. And then I must keep my FS open here because I need to bomb in these wherever I've got. I've got a little bit of thing. But I'm going to... So just to see how that works. So I'm just going to... It's just a, 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 a tutorial scenario. So I just want to see how this complex attack works. It might be... It might not work out. I don't know. At the moment, I'm not... You know, I've got nothing going on here. I haven't, and this X, I've tried to organize. So let's just see how. Okay, so there they go. Let's just follow them. They're going down here. Are they going down that route? Okay, so they're going 
They're going this way around. They're following the route I told them to take. So let's just see that they go there. Now I'm trying, I've got these O's to come and secure this X here. I might even ask him to defend there. It'll probably delay him a little bit, but hey. Okay, so now I need to, I need to bomb. I'm going to put these, I'm going to bomb there. And he, I'm going to give him a couple of hours. So I don't have to, let's make him seven hours. And I'm also... Okay, let's just leave it like that. Let him bomb there. Oh, these are it's all going down there. Okay, so this whole command is going now up this way. He's moving. He's moving his whole command. He's going to create what they call as a complex attack. He's reading in the manual. So he'll form up here and then take this thing on mass. <coughs> All right, let's go. Okay, so these guys are all going this way. I hope they don't run into anything over there. So they're going this way, looks like it, with uh, HQ and whatever. Well, I've gone there now, and I've reset these guys to attack this X here. So that they can take it. Okay, hang on. Let me just pause this here. I need to, I need to, I need to move him there. Where is he now? There, him. He needs to go there. Alright, go. So he can start bombing over there. Now they, these guys are moving up the road, yeah? They're going in the right way. See, they're going, they're following this whole route down there. So I still haven't claimed this X yet. I don't know why. Oh, uh, okay, maybe it's because they've got oaks in the way yet. Bomb over there. Uh, okay, he's going. These guys are all going. So they're going up the road here. They're going to form up here and assault that X there. So I use all his ammo up. That's a problem. Nah, it's too close. I think it'll be too close. Yeah. So I'll need this, obviously, to assault there. I still got this X, but this X hasn't been claimed yet. I don't understand it. I don't know why I'm not getting that X. This guy, I mean, I'm sitting there with a hundred O's there. Yeah. And nothing's been claimed yet. So let's just delete that. I don't want to shoot anymore and waste my army. See, now he's setting up this complex attack here. He's still getting all these O's up there. Okay, so we got some O's down here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, let's bomb over here. Let's edit this task. Let's give it a few hours. And let's bomb over here as well. Let's edit this task and give it a few hours. Alright. And let's get him. Well, let's just shoot these out so long. Now let them shoot down there. Oh, these are still coming. Okay, good. Oh, that's why. That's why. That's why this thing is not, I'm not claiming anything, yeah? Yeah. 
That's probably why. Because these chits here. When you shoot. No, man. Take the friendlies out. Uh, and shoot. i got to get rid of these O's. That's why. Got, he's got too little ammo, man. Uh, let me just see. I just want to see if I can get, get rid of him over there. Otherwise, I will plan an assault. He's already done that. Let me just see if this other... Oh. Yeah, let's assault that X, let's go there and drive him a bit of away there so we can claim this and I'll make it uh, max, max, max yeah, I'll let him just do an ordinary assault there and then I'll move this bombing away yeah. back up to yeah. yeah. I need another O to bomb over here. Let him bomb here. Just bomb there. And let's just give him some time. <laughs> Okay, so this is the last of those that are coming there. Eh? He's still going to do his complex attack. Oh, he's, he's this O. Uh, let's see if I can get this O uh, to bomb over there. Alright. I'm going to need it for this assault. Actually, I need a uh, no, but he's gonna he's gonna advance. It. I know they're taking a better smashing. Okay, so this guy, this guy's bombing there. This guy can bomb me, huh? And this so. Uh, I think I'm going to see if I can get some help down here. Let's see if I can. If I can drive these guys away here. Yeah. Okay, so somebody surrendered. But I still don't have that X. He's not commanding this X. Where is he bombing? He's bombing over there. Now he must... He must bomb... You know. Oh, why can't he bomb there? Friendly's in the way. No? Oh. Then who's this oh bombing? Oh, he's bombing over there. You, you can go there. Alright. And then this so oh, This oh is still bombing him. Yeah. We get rid of this, though. I think those O's can take him. I think I must shoot here in the town, yeah. Oh, shoot there in the town. Okay, there we achieved it, because we had to move those O's out there.
That's why we only got the DX now. Because I didn't realize we had to move these hose out here. This, this hose is still standing here. Yeah? Alright, let's just see. See, there were two... Okay, I'm going to delete that. I want to save ammo. Okay. Where's the, where's the other bombing? Uh, this, oh, yeah. There. Oh, he was bombing there. Okay, he's bombing. Okay, I'm going to delete these things so I can save some ammo. They're going call. Let them go and call. Now, this is still going to plan this whole big move down there. You see how he's arranged it. He's got like, he's, he's, he's armored infantry under this HQ over here, he's sent, he's got, he's got the tanks on the left, and he's got some tanks over here, and there's his HQ and his thing, smart, eh, really smart. So I still, I got these X's now, now I'm accumulating these. Where's the thing now? Ooh, uh, see now, now I'm getting the, the value of those X's. I'm still, I was like, it's off. I haven't won anything. The only thing is over here, obviously. So I'm thinking now, if I, if I take this out and I assault over there, all right, let him, and edit the task, you can go min-max, see if I can clear those O's out of that. Now you can attack how you want, just to, to clear these O's out here. With me, clear these O's out here. Then I think I'll get the X because these O's, these O's haven't got that. And I, we need the occupation of that X. Let this other fight go on over here. Now, let me look at my supplies. I'll show you now. I think this is the base supplies, right? Or is he the, is he the supplier? Okay, he's, he's not a, well, I thought he was a supplier, but those are supply there. Each supply depot is like, see, now he's supplying up there, but now I don't know why, why he's not, he's not supplying. I'll move him. Let's move him uh, to there. So he's a little cool. I don't know why he's not doing any supply now. So I don't know if these O's are out of supply. I don't know what the story is. We've lost this, this X here. Why have we lost it? Because he's got O's sneaking around here all the time. That's the problem. Is he still going to attack? Okay, he's still going to attack. He's going in there now. Now, where is he going? What the... Oh, he's still going to help out there. Okay, that's got supplies there. This guy's got, I don't know, he's not supplying anybody. And he's supplying these guys. So maybe it's not the supply phase. Now I've got to remove these guys. Now I've lost this egg. I got it back. So I've got to get rid of these guys over here. Now, I need these O's. Yeah, but I had that object. Oh, I've taken those back. These O's are still trying to clear these O's out here. Yeah. I'm wondering, I don't know if I can shoot artillery here at night times. Can I? He's got some ammo. Let's just see if I can shoot him at night. I don't know if you'll shoot. Uh, five. Let's see if he will, he will shoot. 
No, I think he's resting. No, he's not shooting. Yeah, no, he's resting. He won't shoot. So let's just delete him. So now the thing is, I think I attacked at night here, which was a mistake. See, I can't get this until I, but I, the artillery is on call, but it won't shoot at night. Ah, I should have timed this whole thing differently. Eh? Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> Getting hammered here. I'm getting this wind thing yeah? I don't know why. I mean, I think it's because I hold that. I got it on fast speed because I want to move. Ah, it says transport columns. That's why I got no supply over here. That's why I got no supply. These are the supply. Oh, uh, okay. So he is supplying, but he's cut off here. See that? He's cut off with his supplies here. It's not uh, healthy. He's getting some O's supplied, but these O's are cutting it off. So, I think what I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm thinking, I don't want to leave these O's alone yet, because just now they grab these X's. I've got these O's wandering around here. The Wanderers, that's what I'm going to call them. So, I'm going to ask him, this O, to come up this road. I know I might lose that X and attack over there cut these o's off here right i don't know if this is the right thing to do but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go and i'm gonna make the max 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 and they're gonna go with successive lines and let them go uh, let this infantry carry on clearing out clearing out that but let these tanks go help out over here because he's like in my backside yeah See all the messages, the yellow ones are the ones that, that uh, like it's like a problem. So I'm hoping those guys can get down. Let them go and help out there. These guys can sit tight. Now I can't you see the artillery is not shooting at night. They're on call, but they like to rest. Are these guys going to go? Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's just see if we can. Okay, let's just let's see if we can delete that. Delete it. Bring this right back to here. And then bring it to there. There. Let him do that. And let him just reorg right here. Hopefully that's gonna help. Alright, let's just see if that'll work out. Oh shit, he's got a whole big force here. Alright, so let him bunker down. Let these guys just... Just... And where's his other... Where's this other commander? No, let him... Let's just delete that thing. Let's delete it. Delete it. Sorry, let me just delete that. Let him just bunker down here. And this so... Uh, yeah, let him bunker down as well. Let him bunker down. So we got a real problem here. And we've got no artillery. This these thing doesn't fire at night times, man. Why have we lost this objective? No, we got it. But we didn't have that one. Oh, shit. We 
should have enough. Well, I don't know. Why have we lost this objective? Oh, it's because he's sneaky in here. Oh, this is an abortion here, man. <laughs> this side, yeah. It's getting avid. I told you, this, this, uh, the, 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 the tutorials is tough, man. To get this all organized. Now, I'm running it fast because I want to... I know these O's are intent on getting this objective, yeah. And I'm going to, when the sun comes up, I'm going to throw some artillery everywhere. Everywhere. Remember, I'll just leave it like this. Okay, something's happening. Oh, shit. I need my artillery. Is this a night attack? Let me just look at what well I haven't destroyed many of his units I've lost this one I haven't even got that one and I'm not even close to that but it's given me a well I don't know I would have lost this because of this this yeah I lost it because he's got still O's here you gotta actually in this guy you gotta clear out these O's here otherwise they scoop your objectives Let the sun come up, then I'm going to plan a nice artillery bit here. Just give me the sun, then I'm going to shoot you with artillery. Yeah, it's not calling in artillery because the O's don't, don't, don't shoot at artillery at night times. It looks like they go in sleepy time. Oh, uh, see, I got it. Okay, yeah. Now, now, I'm going to throw this artillery now. I'm going to hoy it. Okay. Over there. I want some artillery there. And I want it to run for like the whole day until it runs out of ammunition. So I can move these objectives around. And I'm going to shoot over here. Okay. So that I can also run the day out. So this can shoot everything. And I'm going to shoot over there. And I'm going to run. Also till the day ends. Now. He's shooting there. He's shooting there. And he's shooting there. Okay. Let that... Let's see if we can... These O's will fire. I don't know why they're not shooting. Oh, friendlies in the way. Okay, good. We, we, there's no friendlies here, bro. There's no friendlies there. Get the friendlies out the way. He might have a bit of friendlies. I actually want to bring him to shoot over here. There's no friendlies there, bro. All right, shoot back. And I actually want you to shoot there. I want to help you out with artillery. Where's the friendlies, man? There's no friendlies here. What are you talking about? There's no friendlies there. Maybe there. There's no friendlies there, bro. Yeah. There's no friendlies here. Ah, bring him here. There, there, there's actually where I want him. 
Yeah. Yeah, I want to get. And then this O. Yeah, this O. Nice and in the center, Mr. Fenter. We need to call it there. And this O. This O, yeah. Where are you bombing? And you need to go over there. Alright, let's quit. On his concentrations. Okay, so you bomb in there. I want you to bit down. And you stay where you are. And you stay where you are. This is getting better. Move you up a bit. Keep you bombing over there. Oh, he's out of ammo. He's out. Where is he bombing? He mustn't run out of ammo now, man. I need you. You can go back over there because there's a nice concentration over there and you're out of ammo. I thought you always get supplied. Yes, the supplies are so important in this this game. Now, mon monitoring your supplies and stuff is very important. Just hope you don't run out of ammo. And you're shooting on that nice X there. Brilliant. Okay, you bomb in there, you can bomb there. I've got to move you back there. I know there's a, and there's a bit up here. Sorry, man. There's a bit up here that I want you to take care of up there okay so I've achieved that objective and I got all three objectives now I'm just now I'm just collecting the money <laughs> where's the objectives yeah okay so I got all of them this is brilliant man this is brilliant I didn't and I'm, I've almost destroyed the enemy what an RC plan I had though I mean I really he's resting he's got no Uh, he must just hold that objective now. Friendlies in the way. Where's the friendlies? Come down here. I think he took all, some reinforcements went that way. There's still the odd O over here. But I'm not too worried about it. Leave it. Let's just see what my, how's my supplies looking? Okay, so they, they've been supplied. They haven't been cut off yet. You know, they've, they've kind of been supplied, which is important. Um, okay, good. Let's go on. This is I'm hoying it there. Oh, oh, such fun this game! I tell you, you must go get it. Eh? Core game is free, and that the 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 DLCs are are like cheap, man, like a hundred rand or so, hundred and fifty rand. So you can pick them up reasonably and worth every penny. Worth every penny, I tell you that. I had such fun playing this and. I don't, I've never won this tutorial scenario. Looks like I might just win it here. Look at my mark. First time. She's on my debut scenario. Uh, tutorial. Video. I might just win this thing. Never won it. And I really didn't plan much here, man. I made a mistake. Got a lot of stuff done here. Send those to it. I didn't time this. I did this complex attack here. Uh, let me just...
pause it. These out of ammo now. I wonder what's. I think there's O's over there. I did this. I did this complex attack just to show you how the the AI sets up that tank, yeah, that tank. You know, he, uh, smart. You know, like with these uh, infantry on the side and decides what the best route to go is. So the AI, you can rely on the AI in this game. It's brilliant. Now this tutorial is is just set up. For, look. It's set up for the Allies side, so you've got a huge advantage. The The Germans don't have a big advantage, and they've set it up that way, so that you can learn the game. So, you know, you if you're competent at this, uh, the, the, I don't think that the Germans get much uh, forces uh, and replay and, and reinforcements a lot in this scenario. So it's, it's just an introduction. It's set up uh, biased towards the, for the, for the Allies here. I'm gonna shoot some more over there. What's shooting over here? Oh, that's him shooting there. He's out of ammo. He's resting. He's got no ammo. And this O's ammo is gonna be done now. No. I'm gonna shoot over there as well. Now, these reports. Let me give you an idea. Yeah, I, th I think you can you can get an intel report of what what you have it's not 100 percent accurate it's it's like it tells you it's current and the reliability is good so it, it pretty could be pretty accurate and then you can look at the tigers like you know statistics and what it's good at and it's even got the front armor like i showed you the side armor the rear armor top armor uh their weight even their weight is taken into account here it's fantastic this game really really good uh yeah okay and then you can look at the well it doesn't tell you much in terms of that because it basically the the what what's in there and his general performance I can't tell you the experience i don't know but what he's carrying in his morale and the, what the age of it is you know the the report so that's a good report but you see yeah there was last sighted over there i've never I've seldom seen this in a war game I've, in fact i've never where the intel is arranged that you've got not like like 100 percent perfect uh visibility on the battlefield like i could change this and that's i think that's quite old um and then this is everything so if you see everything this looks like wow shit these are all the units here jeez i'm in terrible trouble but remember this is just everything on the battlefield but you what you want is the is the current because this this is this is what when last they were seen there are you with me so you don't know it might there, there might be nothing here there's probably nothing here you don't know this was in the last i think an hour or two hours that they what was seen there i don't think i would have the subjective hex here if these o's were all here so uh, this is obviously outdated and the little crosses show you where, where you know the kills there the guy the units be wiped out where they were wiped out and for ours as well now where is that oh i'm just looking at the bottom here so i put my tanks on on the fire base over there okay so he's still bombarding where is he bombarding okay over there i'll put him over here And there was a big clump over here, so I'm going to put them on that clump there. Let him finish his shooting over there. In fact, I'm going to delete that because I don't want to. I don't want to run out of ammo. And let's just speed it up a bit. So now I'm on the hex now. Yeah, I'm securing the objective. There we go. That's my main big boy. Now you see I've made all these different task forces. So you have to, you kind of got, you don't, like I said in the beginning, you don't have to play it like this. You can just lasso the whole lot and say it. You know, and those will just do whatever they, so what have I lost here? Uh, I've achieved that. So you can just lasso the whole lot and then and then just and the ai will your commanders in the field will make plans and and put uh, uh plans into operation do you take different 
formations and all that based on the terrain and where they situated and and the artillery at the back and the HQ directing. It's brilliant. Brilliant. Such fun in this game, I tell you. Now I want to I want to I know this is I know this is but I'm gonna hoy some artillery over here. Just to keep him Let's just keep it on to it. So we can just keep him busy over there because he's now wanting to climb out of the trees there. Oh, we lost it. Why did we lose it? What the hell happened here? Now keep him there. Why did we lose that? Has he got any more? Oh, we would have got it again. Yeah, we got it again. We got enough force in there. It's time to come here. So I just bomb him here. So just keep him nice and active over there. Let me shoot out all his... Because we know he's over here. Let's just keep him... Uh, let's move it up. Let's get in, increase the speed. Okay, I'm going to delete that so that I don't waste my ammo now. Now, if you look at my supplies, you can see that those O's are supplied. So, when these things, like I said, when they, I think I mentioned this, when these things turn to red and all, you can see how the trucks travel and the supplies travel. I know what all this blue is, yeah, okay, but when when he's in here, yeah, he can interdict your supplies, so you can cut off cut off whole sections of your army, like over here, the supplies, there's nothing going, he's not got units here, but if he puts units here, or you put units here, when you, you block his supplies, <coughs> you cut off, <coughs> you cut all this off, now I'll try different routes, but the minute there's, there's units, uh, in in the way it cuts off all that supply so let's just see that we've got till tomorrow and then it's day five i think six o'clock and then we'll let's just see i just want to just see uh so we have all the objectives and we're accumulating these objectives you see we got seven of eight and on and on completion of the scenario we'll get the other four too so we've held that for the longest we haven't and then this one we're still holding. We're gonna get completion twelve, but we got we can if we hold it, we'll, for the whole game or from the time we'd get twenty five. So the objectives can vary. Brilliant game, first class. Uh, never seen anything quite like this ever. And there's a whole lot. I mean, obviously, I mean, I'm just playing as the tutorial. I'm just playing this. I'm trying to learn this game. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna play through everything like I did with Flashpoint campaigns. All the scenarios from the German and the British. You know, where it suggests I can play for them both. I'll play the scenarios from the Germans and from the Allies side. Each one, uh, each of the volumes that are there. Until it's completion. I'm pretty sure by the end of the game I'll have a, a decent understanding. See, now he's got this... I'll be competent, like I was at uh, Flashpoint campaigns. I was competent at the end of the game. I knew the game, how the game works. But this is just my first initial playthrough. First start. Okay, so where we go. So we lost it. Now this artillery, I've got to get used to it. Let's read up some more. i try to find... I'll just look at the in the um, manual again. Look online because artillery is not firing at night times. It's like resting. So I don't know if that's. I don't know why. I don't know how the reason is for that. I mean, so I need to get around it and see how that. But as we go along, I'll find out how this stuff all works properly.
Now I'm running at full speed because there's nothing happening now. I basically got all the objectives, so I'm just going to park off. Except this one. I mean, it's variable. He's got O's there, and I can't shoot artillery at that. And when you change the orders, depending on the staff structure and all that type, there's a big orders delay. It's very realistic. I mean, the orders delay is much more complex than in Flashpoint campaigns. I mean, it takes the much more of the structures involved, and each commander, each commander is unique and different. You know, like the overall commanders of the lieutenants and up, they've got also their staff, their leadership, and and that affects how how these guys actually plan their battles. You know, the AI plans its battles, so it's hell of a realistic. Just playing through to find out what kind of what the victory screen looks like because I mean we got this meter here, but it said in the manual it's deceptive because it's it's also got a bit of fog of war in it because you can't be hundred percent on this meter here uh, know what's going to happen because he's got his own objectives as well and depending on on what his objectives for the scenario is as far as I can understand that's what they that's what they were you know, alluding to in the manual. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just playing it right through. It should... There we go. Okay, so I got a marginal victory. <laughs> I was lucky. You know, I haven't even... This, is, this game is like... It's tough, eh? Um... Yeah, congratulations, you've won a marginal victory for your persistence and drive in achieving this because I've nominated you for a promotion. I still got a promotion from a marginal victory. Uh, and there's all the the, 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 the the parameters you used. Okay, so we killed uh, 3,000 of his personnel. We knocked out these uh, this, uh, these armored vehicles. Uh, anti-personnel, uh, no, these 142 armored vehicles and 88 guns, and he killed 821 of our guys, and knocked out 178 gun, uh, uh, armored vehicles and 6 guns, and yeah, and it gives you a whole big thing, yeah, and you can do a final review situation, yeah, where you have a look, yeah, I think, look, I'm just learning this thing, as I said. I mean, I understand the concepts and stuff, how it works, like I did with Flashpoint campaigns. I know the concepts, you know, of my other games. I know the, how the mechanics sort of, I've got my idea around how the mechanics work. But um, I'm still, you know, it's one thing having the theory and how the mechanics work. You need to, you know, once you need to apply the stuff. So, yeah, uh, I'm sure of when I'm finished, I'm going to be playing, as I said earlier, the entire series of all the volumes. I got all the volumes. I bought all the volumes from Steam. So I'll be going through Highway of the Reich and the Cauldron and all of that and fighting from both sides. I'll do one scenario from the Germans, one from the Allies of those each of those scenarios. In this scenario, yeah, this was a tough one. I haven't been able to... The last couple of times I tried, I was hammered. Uh, yeah, it's the first sort of success. So, yeah, um, I think I did the right thing over here to get these two X's and then bring the infantry to try and secure that and then get these O's here. Um, and, then, and then I moved them up here. I think I was too hasty here, moving them here, and then it was night time and I managed to get in there and hold that X and get it eventually. And then I did this complex attack on purpose just to show you guys how this thing approaches a... You know, if you take the whole, these are smaller attacks. They're like simple attacks, you know, smaller, smaller commands where you break them up and you form little task forces. But when you do a complex one, you give it like a whole command, like a whole, you know, like brigade or division. And you say to the guy, and you can do this. I mean, you can highlight everything and then click. Well, you can't now because it's pause, you know, the game's over. And then click go and he will... He, the AI will 
does all the heavy lifting. He will decide which where the infantry goes, whether it's in the front, whether you use successive lines. And they've got all those formations and stuff going on in this game. I mean, it's amazing. And uh, so I did this attack here just to show you how this complex, how he tackles a complex. And he did it pretty well. I mean, we got this objective. And I wasn't sure where the Germans were, where they were coming from, where they were coming from here or there. And the thing is, you've got to remember, I've noticed here, that if he's got oaks around you, you will lose that objective. So you've got to hold them. Hold the objectives and have them on completion and hold the objectives. So that he, because he's got, You've got to get root. You've got to actually remove the enemy. You can't just take the X and go. You've got to actually remove him from this area. You've got to remove him from all these areas before you move. And what makes it complex is all the supply as well. Because you've got these guys, these bases that supply it. And they work off a, this graph thing here. You know, and they also receive supplies. So some scenarios, you might not get all the supplies in and you might... These different bases might not get their supplies from, from, from there. So, and they travel on tracks. There's a whole big chapter on supplies and stuff. This thing is involved, man. It's, it's realistically, they've thought of everything in the developers in this game. Awesome game. Really good game. Go download it for free. You get those three scenarios and then take, buy one of the volumes. I, you won't go wrong, eh? You won't go I'm Such fun playing this. I mean, you lose so much time. I've lost so much time on this on this tutorial scenario now playing it that i mean how much time have we spent now it's two two and a half hours just with the overview in the tutorial yeah awesome awesome simulation look forward to it on my channel um and there's the ar so we've got the the thing i think i covered everything um i don't think i've left anything out you i think you basically got the gist of everything i hope you know, and how it all works. I think I managed to cover everything that I could think of Yeah, I'm sure I missed a whole lot of stuff out. So, yeah. Um, but, I mean, I think I covered what I could cover. All right. Yeah. Uh, thanks, uh, Sean from Combat Simulations. Please subscribe to my channel. It's free. And also leave comments and suggestions. And watch my videos. I mean, it helps me out a lot. All right. Until our next uh, Command Ops fight. Good day on you.